Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. We have reached a game four. You're away from home. You're down in the series two games to one. What do you tell your team? We win this one. We can make it a best of three. We have home ice. Let's worry about what we do. Don't worry about what might happen if you don't find a way at winning the hockey game. Give yourself a chance. Let's tie it up and let's get back home and make it a best of three. New York's got to find a way to extend this series because as we've seen in the past, going down 3-1 is not the recipe for success. Win this game, you got a serious chance to win this series. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Off a shutout victory, trying for more on that long playoff road tonight. He didn't get the result he wanted last time, so the playoff prize is one more game away. Let's see if he can step it up here. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Ambrick, this playoff game has begun. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Outstanding save. The Penguins are driving it from the wing. Uses his stick and strips him of the puck. Steals it in the attacking zone. In that defensive zone, an important play. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. A big one-timer. Missed the net. You don't get to shoot the puck very often from that spot on the ice. You have to hit the net and challenge the goaltender. Terrific determination by Letty. Let's it go. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Read that play in his own end. Looking to lead. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Save there. Play stopped. It's Ray Ferraro time. Pittsburgh's players were telling us this morning about their need to stay focused and they want to get to 3-1 in this series. They feel they can wrap it up quickly if they can get that third win. The Penguins win it. Fires. Dogged determination there by Evgeny Malkin. Had it away. They've got it going right now. Can they finish? The Islanders are skating it up at neutral ice. Good place to shoot from. Pittsburgh's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Trying to go to Alexia. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Takes it in from the neutral zone. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock helped. Pittsburgh's got two on this one for tripping. Now, oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. New York's power play unit makes its debut tonight. Uh, the numbers show if you get the first goal, you have a way better chance to win than if you're chasing the game. A power play, what a great chance here to get on the board first. It's dumped in. Pitching it to Everly. The Islanders controlling play now in their own end. Puck is thrown to lead. A chance to clear. That puck sailed out of play and went out over the glass. Over seven minutes have passed. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Shoots one. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. You don't necessarily need to pick corners from that area on the ice. A quick release is better than speed of shot. Pittsburgh's good on that penalty kill, so we're back even. Important interception there. Hits the post and out. Tremendous hit. He's certainly on a mission out there. He's trying to set a tone for his team in what should be a really physical contest. Intercepted it in no man's land. And he dumps it in. Moving it to Pavillier. 
fires. Great glove save, and he keeps it. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the ring. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Leads that charge into the zone. Picks it up in his own end. Ping pongs it ahead to Hickey. Right to the point. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Puck held near the point. The Penguins organizing back in their own end. Laid on to Brassard. A textbook stick save. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Penguins get the draw. A backhand shot, save. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Phil Kessel's reputation is so impressive that we forget he missed some games because of cancer, and he's become one of the best scorers in the league. It all came together for Phil Kessel back in the 2008-2009 season when he scored 36 goals for the Boston Bruins and now has become a consistent 30-plus goal scorer in the National Hockey League. He is able to move on in. He loads it up. That one right off his head. Yeah, you heard it. It hit him right in the mask. Close in play. Magnificent save. Now it's directed to Steven Gianta. Snapping a pass to Malkin. The Penguins with a neutral zone possession along the way. Got that pass off the boards. And they've got it again. Pitching this one to Everly. Shoots one. Loud pad save. Hard work here. Able to hang on behind the net. The Penguins skated up on the side. And that one's chopped in half by Everly. Got that pass in his own end. Great save. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. New York's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on him. New York's got a defensive zone win. The Islanders skated up on the side. Directing that one to Grant. Cuts that pass off. At least he protected his goaltender. Back and forth they go between the points. Pass attempt to Pavillier. Passing one off now to Pavillier. Shakes right through. Shoots one. A strong pad stop there. He slowed down a bit and there'll be a hooking penalty called on this one. Pittsburgh's taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. 
New York's two minute penalty is a minor and the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. The Penguins get their first power play opportunity of this contest. Let's see if they can make good on it. So their first power play gives them a chance to get one on the board here. The clock has bled down to the last minute. Puck over the glass, and we get a stoppage of play because of that. They've won the faceoff. One minute left in the first period. On to Kessel. Puck free, roadblock by Hickey. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. The Penguins prevail again. Hammers one. What a terrific save. New York's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. The Penguins carrying on in the defensive zone. From the outside, made the save. Period number one has been completed. Neither team got scoring. Some chances, no success. Willemans Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. The Islanders are getting a tremendous performance in goal tonight, even though offensively they haven't been strong. He's kept them in here, and here's one example. We'll return after these words. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Nobody's been able to put the puck past the goaltenders, Doc, but I think one thing they need to improve on is getting more people to the front of the net. Make life a little bit more difficult for the goalies. The Islanders with a little penalty time left to kill, so they'll have to focus on that at the start of this period. Shoots! Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one. Go make it two. The Penguins have been pounding away and pounding away, and finally here in the second, they've gotten the first goal. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Looking to Dumoulin. Chooses the corner. The goaltender was so worried about the passer, he forgot about the goal score. Good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Pittsburgh's got their second goal of this game. There may be more. They've been heavily out shooting the opponent. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Trying to go to Letty. He's got that pass at the point. Outstanding save. Oh, they a great chance. Pittsburgh's built a lead on the fact that they've dominated puck possession. Their goaltender has had a very easy night in there. Hasn't had a lot of shots, but he stopped what he's had to. Ah, that's a good quick poke check there. Gains the zone and looks over his options. That puck struck him in front. Gives it over to the point. And the puck heads to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. The Islanders in their own end have control of the puck. Kessel's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Islanders are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. 
I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. So much of a power play is confidence when you have a little success. Score! It's another power play goal. Snapshot is between a slap shot and a wrist shot, and that is textbook snapshot hockey. He finds the back of the net. That's a really good shot that beats the goaltender, but when the goalie goes into that butterfly, he's doing one of two things. He's either guessing or he thinks he's got the entire net covered. He doesn't have it there. The Islanders win that neutral zone faceoff. Pitching it to Everly. Let's it go. Save! He hangs on and gets the whistle. Murray's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. Drop. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. And he steps across the line. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Gets that puck behind the net. Not the quarterback there, but he's going to set something up. Gathered up again by Everly. Has that one measured in his own end. Back in his defensive end to get it. A good stick there, so no complete pass. On the outside, a shot. And a save. Play stopped. That puck is just him. Under seven minutes have gone by in the second. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now is three. Use that stick like a magic wand. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Shutout positioning by Komarov. Wonderful stop. Puck is thrown to Pearson. Gains that offensive line. Back to the point. Cut that pass in his own end. Let's it go. Didn't miss by much. That's a tough one to watch. Need to practice hitting the net. Chip to Malkin. Nice work by Hickey. The Islanders are out of their own end. It's dumped in. Has it in his own end. Stole that pass. A tremendous glove save. Cuts loose, denied by the roadblock. Pittsburgh's got it back in their own zone. A shot. They score! They only trail by a pair. Steven Gianta's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Oh, he wanted to make a highlight reel glove save with this one. He doesn't get it. Now he'll be on the highlights fishing the puck out. New York's clawed back to within two goals. Lots of time still remaining. Perhaps this will be momentum they can build before the second intermission. Pitch straight ahead through center. Steven Gianta assisted by number 18. Ran into the defense. He's lost. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 43 seconds. Could be trouble near the line. The Tang's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. New York's roster goes down by one here. 
at least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The power play has been well oiled. They've connected twice already. Let's see what develops off this faceoff. The faceoff, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. And he dumps it in. The boards are there to be used, and he does it with that pass. I like that play. He had a little bit more of a risky option, but he went off the boards and bounced it safely to his partner. Save there. Moving it to Komarov. Propelled to Pulak. Has that point pass as well. Time running short on the power play. Puck scooped up by Phil Kessel. New York's killed it off. Full strength action now. Intercepted that one at an important place. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? In with it now. Great poke check. That didn't go like he wanted. Now it's directed to Pulak. Snapping a pass to Lee. Sends to the point. Slid to Hickey. Ah, uh, howitzer! Save! The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Has it back deep. Pitching this one to Gensel. Steps in from the neutral zone. Laid on to Crosby. Goes back deep for it. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. They won that face off. Try to generate something. Trying to clear the zone. Points it. On to Alexiak. Picked up behind the net. He hit the goal post. The whole bench, you can almost hear them groan as this puck hits the pipe and deflects away. Great job on a cut pass. Driving in from no man's land. Got it at the point. Big drive. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Directing that one to Hornquist. In the second period. He throws it there. Great save. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset at center. Pass attempt to Hornquist. Pittsburgh skating it back in their own zone. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. They need to get a rest for some players. It's dumped into the offensive zone. Forwards are changing. Two periods are in the books here. And the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. Two period shots on goal totals read like this. 16 for the Penguins and 13 for the Islanders. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation with all proceeds going to New York's the players have got to celebrate here. Whether they'll get more celebrations like this one will be determined when we come back. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edzo. The Islanders come into this period down on the scoreboard because they've turned over the puck way too many times. They'll need to tighten up their playmaking if they want to generate scoring chances. Fires, waffle boarded. And freezes play for the whistle.
Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Onside. Gliding behind, looking. Pass cut. The Penguins up the wing, luck the puck. Pass to the slot. Score! Great individual effort while on his knees surprised the goaltender and he scored. He doesn't have the puck on his stick very long, but that pass is delivered perfectly to open him up. Pittsburgh's goal has staked them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. A one-timer. Oh, a tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. A little under three minutes play. The scoring of the goal has made this now a three-goal lead. Will this become dangerous, though? The Islanders have it at center ice. And that puck goes offside. The face-offs one. Takes it right back. Great shooting lane. Terrific setup directed wide. Looking to get it out. To Alexiak. The Penguins luck that along up the wing. Nicely received at the point. Good intercept in his own end. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. Chip to Brassard. Passing one off now to Hornquist. Trying for it. Very important steal for him. Shoots. Wonderful save. And he holds on and stops play. Pretty easy save for the goaltender, is he? He just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. New York's got that win. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. New York's lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. Can start the attack going in the zone. Passes to the slot. That's a good save on an easy shot. Puck covered, whistle blown. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Just over seven minutes have gone by in the third. The Penguins continue to build. It's now a three-goal lead in this contest. Behind the net. Oh, wonderful play. The Penguins have it along the side at mid-ice. It's dumped in. 
Solid work there by Boychuk. Looking to Johnston. A shot and a save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Islanders win it. Great glove save. The Penguins start to rush up ice. Back on his stick. Propelled to Latang. Walks the blue line. Shoots one. Use that big goalie stick well. Gets that one on across. Puck grab. What's next? Skate kick out of the scrum. Oh, broke it up. Took that away in his own zone. Lee's at fault for the turnover here, but I get what he's thinking. He wants to make a play and try and get his team back in the game. Trying to go to Pulak. Pitching it to Barzell. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Crosby's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. New York's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Shoots one right in that catching glove. Good work. Got it back out of the zone. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Good shooting place. You could almost count that one, but no. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Okay, they win the draw. Using the point, he's got it. Quick wrister, save with the pad. Tries to clear, pop loose, strong defensive play by Bailey. To Lee, blocked. The Islanders, power play, let him down at a very important time. Puck is thrown to Rust. Moving it to Crosby. Gains the zone. That went off someone, loose puck. Corrals it. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. The Islanders are at the wing in neutral ice. Great save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Maybe he's shooting to pump up his Corsi number, because that has no chance of going in the net. Over five minutes remaining. The Penguins are just hammering away. The lead now has gone to three. The Islanders win that faceoff. Holds on and gets that whistle. The Islanders win the draw. Read that play in his own end. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Turned away with a stick. New York skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Just couldn't make it. Makes that play deep. And now it's directed to Pearson. Snapping a pass to Malkin. What? And he's all alone. He scores! Phil Castle.
He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. Leonard's presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. Pittsburgh's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Reads the play and keeps it. Pitching this one to Alexiak. Directing that one to Mata. Pulled it right back. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Pass attempt to Hickey. Passing one off now to Philpola. Brought ahead, and a carom dump to the corner. Looking to Gensel. A shot. Wonderful stop. The battling continues along the board. Trying to go to Pula. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Good solid poke check there. Gives it to the point. Good defensive read with that one. Oh, I can see what he's trying to do there, guys. He wants to make a play to try and turn this game back around. They're trailing, but he forces the puck in and he turns it over. And they are in. Walking a thin line near the border there. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Cut off that pass at center ice. Waits from the corner. Slid to Komarov. Gets it in a good place. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. That was a tougher stop than a look. Gets a glove on it. That diffuses the attack for now. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. They just keep working away, don't they? A good one to build on and maybe finish on next time with that victory, a 3-1 lead in the series. The lead gets extended here tonight, but we're one win away. They've got some cushion, but now's not the time to take the foot off the gas. The playoffs continue with our next game. We hope you'll look forward to that one as much as we are. Meanwhile, for this one tonight, for Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.